In this video I want to show you how you can work with scalars and vectors in the program R and how you can calculate with them, how to do assignments to variables. Um, I will show you some functions and some expressions. So I go into the program R, I create a variable A and I assign a value to it, the scalar 5. I want to print the variable on the screen, print A, or I just write A. So the variable A contains the scalar 5 and it's printed to the screen here. Now I want to assign a vector to the variable A and a vector I write like this, C, and then the values of the vector print the variable on the screen. Okay. There are different ways to assign a value to a variable. The first one we just saw, it's this notation, but I can also first write the value and then assign it to a variable. Or I can use this notation or this notation. A and then the vector or a scalar doesn't matter and now I show A. Um, and there's one thing because I just uh, wrote an A in, in uppercase and lowercase. Um, the, uh, the language R is case sensitive so it, it does matter if you write it lower or, or uppercase. I could use the variable A assign the value a to it. Now I show a and now I show small a. It's different. Okay. Mm, when I want to create a vector which consists of uh, very of many elements, this notation uh, would create a very long line and would I would have to type a lot so I can write I can uh, give a range here, let's say from from 1 to 10 or let's say from 5 to 10 or I can also say uh, minus 4 to 3. This works also. Mm. There is another notation I can write sequence starting minus 40 ending at 60 yeah. print A this works also and I can write sequence minus 40 till 60 and here I give the step size it's not it's always here plus one step size each step plus one. I can say step size 0 0.5. There is one e. So, so each step is now 0 0.5 from minus 40 till 60. Could also create it this way a sequence. Now I want a vector of the length uh, length 40 starting at 1.6 and step size should be um, 0 0.2 So the vector contains just 40 entries Let's see. 40 entries starting at 4.6 and each each step uh, a little bit is added till 40 entries are reached. Um, you can also do simple math with, with scalars or vectors in R. Let's say I divide 1, this is scalar, divided by A, this is a vector. So this the scalar is then extended to a vector of length of length a. 
so it has the same amount of entries as A. This would be the same if I write uh, B and then a vector 1 or let's say a sequence length 40 starting at 1 step size step size is 0 so this is <laughs> yeah okay it, it he uh, the program compromise it is to 1 i wanted to create a vector of 40 entries all once but he compromised it to 1 then so i wanted to divide b by a but it's the same i can now divide b by a and get the same result mm. okay i can divide i can uh, multiply oh x uh, a multiplied by 8 I can add or add it to each self or minus okay and then there are some functions in R and it's a statistical program so of course I have something like mean it's a mean value it's that I have the variance can uh, I have the sum of each element each element are added mm. product oh so this is a very large <laughs> okay square root uh, length of a can be calculated as 40 the mini the min uh, minimal value. 4.6 which entry is set 4.6 I don't see it let's print A again ah this this was uh, the root so here is the minimal value for 4.6 the max value is 12.4 mm. and I can uh, sort the vector is sorted already but I could sort it okay um, in the next video I will I will show you more things uh, what you can do with vectors and scalars